my next guest in Super Bowl 23. He is none other than Dick Enberg here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Dick? I'm great, Rich. It's uh, riding like this. Last couple of weeks has been an, uh, an emotional tsunami, and uh, so many people uh, showing their love back. And I, I know uh, Vin has embraced all of that as as I have as well. And yeah, just to tag uh, your, I heard the final comments about Ben, mm -hmm. one man booth. I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, he he is. It, it's beyond belief that a man his age could work a game all alone, be as brilliant as we all have said. He's the poet laureate of not just baseball but all of our professions, and I think back 40 years ago when I was doing the UCLA games, I did fly solo with them, but uh, you, you didn't need a color man when you win eight national titles in nine years. I was a pretty good announcer then. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the network uh, was uh, wanting to do a uh, basketball game of the week, and because of the UCLA exposure, they asked me if I wanted that job, and of course I, I, I left at it and said yes. And uh, they actually suggested that I do the basketball game of the week on the network alone. And I, and I said, that's incredible. If you can promise me every game's 91-89, every game's close or overtime, maybe. But, I mean, what do I do in the games that go south and when they're not interesting and not I need somebody to lean on, somebody to carry a conversation. So, but Ben did that all himself. I mean, he, I, just, I can't even fathom doing that. And uh, – the best of all time. How fortunate we uh, we were to be able to pull up a seat next to him. Yeah, well, and you too, Dick. Let, I know you're being you're being humble, but uh, I mean, come on now. I mean, you 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 were a man who described so many great events and with humility and on the spot uh, uh, humor. It, and you know, you did work with Vin, as you mentioned, back in the '60s. Chick Hearn was also part of the local organization talking Lakers you were doing UCLA Vin doing the Dodgers what was that like to be working in that spot with with everybody uh, all-time greats well even before uh, Rick when I was uh, coaching and teaching at Cal State Northridge with San Fernando Valley State College then uh, I was able to listen to, to Chick do basket and uh and Vin baseball and and for a quarter I could read Jim Murray three times a week I mean, right. how, how great was that for a student uh, looking ahead and uh and then to work in that in that company, although we never really ran into each other very often, other than maybe at a sports banquet or something like that. But every Angel game that I called, I left the San Fernando Valley where I live to drive to Anaheim, and because we were home on a night game, then the Dodgers were playing in the East three-hour time difference, and so I was able to listen to them probably as much as anyone in Los Angeles because he was on when I was driving uh, to work at Anaheim. And, and I just, uh, it was uh, to be included in that company. It was a rare time for uh, Los Angeles sports fans. And then Bob Miller came on the scene shortly That's after right. that. That's right. Good Lord, I forgot about him, and he's still calling uh, L.A. Kings games. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.